This is Gene Key, KDD News. The big question for Dumas and Moore County. What choices will Governor Rick Perry make? Will Moore County lose more state funding? Here's what happened according to the Associated Press. Some of the nation's largest oil refineries are seeking huge tax refunds that could force school districts and local governments across Texas to give back tens of millions of dollars they were counting on to pay teachers and provide other services. The refineries want the tax breaks in exchange for buying pollution controlling equipment, but the cost to public schools would be high coming only months after lawmakers slashed education spending by more than $4 billion across Texas. It will cost the Dumas Independent School System alone $4.8 million. If a three-member commission appointed by Governor Rick Perry grants the refunds, nearly half the money would be taken from schools. Classrooms in cities with refineries would be hurt most. The Texas Commission on Environmental Quality is evaluating 16 refund requests that could add up to more than $135 million, according to county tax data and application documents analyzed by the Associated Press. San Antonio-based Valero Energy Corporation argues that their units should qualify for a tax exemption under an amendment to the Texas Constitution that says industrial plants don't have to pay taxes on equipment purchased to reduce on-site pollution. Valero first asked for the refund for six of its refineries in 2007. Since then, at least four other companies have asked for the same retroactive refund. Here in Moore County, the Valero refinery is seeking exemptions on two units, allowing Valero a $15.8 million tax refund. NewsChannel10.com reports after an eight-hour standoff overnight with Amarillo Police, a local man is in custody Tuesday morning. Police were on a domestic disturbance call at the 6100 block of Palmetto around 6 Monday night. A woman told officers that 64-year-old Harold V. Allum had threatened her with a gun. Amarillo SWAT and hostage negotiators were called. They were able to establish contact with the man. He eventually surrendered at around 2 a.m. He was taken to the Randall County Jail charged with aggravated assault. This is Gene Key, KDD News.